How exactly does bad ring laser work? Bad ring laser is a yellow one cost card with the following effects. Counter, counter. Place one yellow card from your hand into the drop area, negate the counter. So basically what this does is negate another counter. So if someone plays Wiss's Coercion, they, they pay their mana, then this card activates, negating the effect to untap the mana and proceeds to the battle phase. But Bad Ring Laser has some really weird interactions and those are the interactions that I want to go over with. The main things that I want to go over with are battle cards that have a counter, cards like Flying Nimbus and Negating, and the interactions between Mecha Freezer. I'll start off with an easy one with Bad Ring Laser negating Bad Ring Laser. So earlier we had Wiss's Coercion being negated by Bad Ring Laser. But what happens if another Bad Ring Laser was to negate that? So the way Bad Ring Laser is worded is that the dropping of the yellow card from your hand is cost. So this would happen when you actually pay for the mana for your card. So if your opponent plays as Whis's Coercion, then you play Bad Ring Laser, you will drop your yellow card when you have to tap the energy for Bad Ring Laser, then your opponent will play Bad Ring Laser, negating your Bad Ring Laser, then they drop their yellow card, and then Whis will untap the mana. So now that you understand that placing the yellow card from your hand is now the cost, as along with tapping the mana, we can go into other interactions of this card. If you swing with a battle card, then your opponent negates with Pride and Justice Topo, when you're, of course, when one of you's at 15k or more. The way this interaction works is Pride and Justice Topo reads as following Counter, attack. Play this card, then negate the attack. So as we can see here, the effect is to negate the attack and play this card. If I then negate with Bad Ring Laser, the effects of Pride and Justice Topo is negated. So that means that Pride and Justice Topo does not come into the battle area, instead goes to the drop area. There are a few other cards with this ability, but this is probably the easiest that I could explain with. The next card I'd like to go over with is Flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus reads as follows. It's a one mana yellow, counter attack, negate the attack. Then you may place one yellow card in your hand in the drop area. If you do so, your opponent can only attack one more time with battle cards for the duration of the turn. If I swing later with a battle card and my opponent plays Flying Nimbus to negate the attack, and I play Bad Ring Laser. Bad Ring Laser has a cost to drop the yellow card from hand, while Flying Nimbus is worded differently. The effect is to negate the attack, then they may choose one yellow card from their hand and place it into the drop area. So with this, the effect to drop a card from hand to negate further attacks is actually negated because the effect comes in after the attack is negated. So now this is where everything gets a little bit confusing. If we look at the card Mecha Freezer from the draft box one, its effect reads as following. When you activate an extra card, you may choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. If you do so, reduce the energy cost of that extra card by one for the duration of the turn. If this reduces the energy cost of that extra card to less than one, you may activate that card without paying the specific cost. So which effect actually comes first? Do you drop the card from hand off Bad Ring Laser first? Or does Freeze's ability activate first? Please note that you cannot activate Bad Ring Laser without having another card in hand just because you won't be able to completely activate the full effect of the card while it's being played. So you won't be able to use Freeze's ability to get that extra card. In the case of Bad Ring Laser, it is revealed first. Because it has a skill cost, 
being able to drop a yellow card from hand, the effect of that comes first. Then, Freeze's ability to reduce the card to zero then activates. This ruling stops people using bad ring laser without having an actual yellow card in their hand before freezer ability to actually happen. I hope that helps guys and I'll see you in the next video.